At least 10 people have been killed and many more hurt after a powerful typhoon swept across Japan. Officials said some of those killed were swept away by landslides while others were trapped in their cars as the floodwaters rose. Well, after making landfall yesterday, the storm flooded rivers and left nearly half a million homes without power. Our Tokyo correspondent, Rupert Wingfield Hayes, reports. It is now a bright, sunny day in Tokyo, with little evidence of the storm that swept across the city last night. But the vast amounts of rain dropped by Typhoon Hagibis has breached flood defences right across the country. The area affected stretches for over a thousand kilometres, the equivalent of Cornwall to Edinburgh. In the town of Hakone near Mount Fuji, more than a metre of rain fell on Friday and Saturday, the highest 48-hour total ever recorded. Further north in Nagano Prefecture, levees along the Chikuma River have given way and water is still rushing through residential areas, inundating houses up to the second floor. The levees around Tokyo have held and river levels are now falling. The Japanese Grand Prix is going ahead, and for World Cup rugby fans, there is good news. The much-anticipated match between Scotland and host Japan will now take place tonight. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo. Good morning, everyone. So Typhoon Hagibis, we've been talking about it for quite a few days. Uh, it's now exited Japan. It's pulled away north and east. It's not before it brought some torrential rain just under a metre across some parts of southern Japan. Some really strong winds as well. We had a 95 mile an hour gust at Tokyo Airport yesterday. But you can see it's pulled away north and eastwards. There's blue skies and sunshine across a large swathe of Japan today. The wind slowly easing down. Just keeping an eye. We could see further heavy showers developing later on today and then into tomorrow.